guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are doing a in-depth walk around of my $100 static e-kick. You heard it right if you're new to the channel, you heard it right. I won this car for $100 and it's wild. So, the car is dead. I'm going to get uh, Alexander to get in the car. I'm gonna push it out, give it a jump, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. What's up, fam? It's freezing. What's up? You like the car? Of course I like the car. You know I want, I always wanted, well, she, the bubble back. She, she likes the EGs, but she likes yeah, the EKs like, too. Yes, yes. So, but she wants me to paint it white. White, like white, the pearl white. You want pearl white? Yeah, pearl white. I don't know about pearl white, but white's nice. Pearl white. Okay, so what I'm- Pink, pink uh, rims, hot pink rims. Nah, bro, you're not that type of girl, are you? You're not that type of girl, are you? No. Uh. I mean, I did. She had a Mazda 3 with white on white, white on and white. pink lug nuts. Pink That's not bad. Okay, try pressing it. Yes. Put your hand on the e brake just in case you have to pull it up. Just in case the brake is for whatever reason say have a lot of work. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Not to do nothing, just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Break, 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 break. E break up. Thank you. That's You're. It? That's it. That's all I need you to do. Then I gotta jump it or go buy a new battery, one or another. I don't think it's low enough. No. No. She's. It's too easy to get out of. Well, you're only you're like five foot two, and the car's lower than oh, you. Wow, five foot two. Thank you. Or what are you five one these days? Five one. <laughs> five zero. Oh. Let's go through the car, the exterior of the car in depth. We're gonna check the interior of the car, and then. Uh, Depending on time restraints, I might jack it up and check underneath. So, uh, let's do it. So the car is a 1999 to 2000 Civic, even though we have the 96 98 for an N. I don't know if there's any collisions or anything of those sorts, and that's why it has a 96 and 98 front end. Most people don't usually do this front end. Most people always like, you know, go to the 99 to 2000 or leave it what they have, but I don't mind this front end. It has a charge speed lip with the yellow fogs. I may remove the yellow fogs, to be honest with you guys. Uh, I like them, but I want an, like a super, super clean look. We do have a upgraded grill also clear headlights i do not know the exact paint coat to this color but it is a beautiful gray we can see that the moldings are paint matched the side skirts are paint matched if we come to the rear here we can see this is a type r uh, ray spoiler we have these incredible clear taillights that i absolutely love i really really enjoy these clear taillights on the car oem exhaust which will probably end up changing and for the exterior, aside from that, it's a pretty basic exterior with the car. Um, these are gonna get changed to carbon. I actually have them in there already. These are the Volt T37 Vs, if I remember correctly. We're on a stretch tire. These are 15 by eight plus zero. So the tire setup's a 185, 45, 15. The Volks do have a little bit of curb rash here and there. I do wanna get these all refinished. Uh, I do like this gray on the car. Uh, but I may go with a bronze. Let me know what you guys think below. We have the dead and gone valve stem caps, which are pretty badass. They're metal, good quality too. You guys can probably see we are missing a side skirt. In the last video, we lost a side skirt, bring the car home. It's right over there. It's not a big deal. I can probably put it on. All the clips look half decent anyways. So that's pretty good. Uh, the car is on BC extreme lows. We have a bunch of K2 suspension. Another thing this car has, it has flared out fenders, as you guys can see, to fit these wheels underneath. That's why this does not line up. I do have another set of fenders painted that he gave to me also in the back of the car there. Check it out. So for the exterior, that is pretty much it.
here is the engine bay the motor to my knowledge is a b18 b1 with a matching trans i can't guarantee anything because i'm not 100 percent sure my goal is to restore this car completely so it looks absolutely clean so the engine bay is going to get a full detail we're going to fix a lot of the stuff here we're going to get matching hardware all brand new zinc hardware we're going to change the color scheme and uh yeah every time i look at this car i find something new uh looks like we have some type of weird aftermarket fuel lines there uh that's an aftermarket manifold aftermarket fuel rail i have no idea what injectors we have in there the car seems like it has a somewhat of a tuck bay so uh it looks pretty clean i'm not gonna lie i have i have a good canvas to start with which is really really good we have a half ride which uh i definitely do want to change to maybe something a little you know nicer i don't know about you guys but have you guys ever experienced that the header had to get bent so that that can fit in there that is super super odd in my opinion but let me know if you guys have seen that before is that common i'm very new to the b series game so i do not know uh looks like we got some blue cables that might be ngk cables which is really nice a blue oil cap which probably get changed out very shortly and some random intake one thing i do want to do for sure is get a battery tied down because that guy is very loose and probably uh, relocate the battery to the trunk uh, as you can see we have no fuse box here so the fuse box has been tucked also so this has a mild tuck which i think is really good i think i have a very good canvas to start with i do want to basically clean it up completely the engine bay we have a very very good starting point i know the car is running an engine coat so we're going to check what we have going on there also but the engine bay looks absolutely fantastic today pretty much is a walkthrough and find out what we have to fix let's go into the interior let's check it out i know i have some stuff to do there too Welcome to the interior of the $100 EK. As you guys can see, there is a little bit of work to be done. Nothing insane, but we have a little bit of like fake carbon wrap that's gonna come off. I'm gonna take that off too. I'm gonna do door cards. Uh, to be honest, this is the first time I'm checking all this stuff. So we're gonna do some, we're gonna leave this here for now. We're gonna put our own very shortly. It's the first time actually opening all this stuff. So what do we have in here? We have, I believe that's from the seats. We have an additional weird shift knob. Oh my God, is this spoon? Yeah, it is, but that's mine. I put it there. <laughs> the seats, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe are from a Acura EL. EL, all right? That is from the Canadian models. I thought these were Integras, but according to a few people I've talked to, they say it does not look like Integras. Let me know down below what you guys think these are. Some weird armrest that was red stitching back in the day. We're gonna take that out. Oh shit, look, did he, what's in here? This is honestly the first time I'm going through all this, so my reaction is all genuine. We, with the $100 EK, we got some type of walkie-talkie, zip ties, which I, if I knew I had that there in the last video, I would have zip tied the bumper. We have a screwdriver. We have a sunglass holder filled with bolts and nuts and stuff like that, which I like. Thank you very much. I enjoy a few extras. So we'll put that there. What's in here? Gum wrapper, valve stand caps. See, a lot of goodies we're finding in here so far. I haven't even gone in the glove box yet. So, let's see that. Oh, what do we have in here? Oh, shit. We have a nickel. We got some clips and screws there, too. Uh, looks like our ECU is right over here. That is our fuse box, which I'll probably tuck in better afterwards. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I hope he checked everything in here. That is from a radio harness. We have some BC adjustment keys. We got some bulbs. This, yo, this guy set me up. Thank you, man. You set me up some more bulbs. Some Allen keys. Some more Allen keys. What is in here? Looks like some type of rubber mount. So I think he did do the shifter because that is one of the stabilizer bushings for the shifter there. So we got some bulbs and goodies in there. We have some more bulbs. <laughs> <I don't, laughs> what is this? 
I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little hesitant. What is this? This is the fun part. Let's see. Okay, I can't open it with one hand. I have no idea what's in here. Oh, actually, I can see. It looks like... I think... Oh. My mind went into the gutter. This is the touch-up paint for the car. That is exactly what that is. So, we're scoring big. We have our safety. So, some genuine OEM parts. <laughs> Yo, what is going on? <laughs> There's a... What's here? Did I, is that a dollar or is that a, a gaming coin? This is 50 cents in euros. Wow, yo, this car's paying it forward. Look at that. So a lot of goodies there. Well, I don't know if it's goodies, but a lot of stuff in there. I have a another screwdriver with some wiring in here. That's for the shift knob, DC, and zip ties. This is probably the most exciting part to me because I'll be honest, I haven't seen any of this, so this is all new. Uh, I bought this from Garage 16. This is an OEM Type R shift boot uh, to put in here. Slowly but surely, we are going to restore this car. Justin did a fantastic job so far getting it going, but it got into the right hands, and now I'm going to refine this build. Car is dead, but let's turn it over and uh, a uh, bunch of garbage. <laughs> Something went in my mouth. <laughs> Something just went in my mouth. Okay, let's turn on the heat. Does this thing have heat? I saw the heater hoses and everything still. So the car's not on, so it's definitely not gonna be pumping out too much heat, but. Okay, so that works. <laughs> Dude, what is going <laughs> Wow. Oh, I figured it out. This is the walkie-talkie for this. Let's plug this in. Let's see if this works. Let's turn the car on. Hello? Hello? Hello, hello, hello? Is the car full? Ah. <laughs> scared the shit out of me. Testing, testing. Mic one, check one, two. What's up? <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> we figured it out. Okay, okay. Let's. The battery's dead. That, ladies and gentlemen, I believe is very illegal. What I'm going to do with this car, not today, is I'm going to rip all the carpet out. The carpet is disgusting. It's great. We're gonna rip the seats out, and we're really going to see if this is a rust-free chassis, as claimed. Even if it's not, I got it for hundred bucks, but I want to know exactly what's going on. Looks like we do have some type of aftermarket ECU in here. Um, as you can see, it says off-road use only over here. And uh, yeah, it's a little rusty, but like I said, that's why I want to take everything out from the interior to get a real good look at it. I'm just going to change shift knobs for today, just cause this one's cool and all. I appreciate it, but I like the spoon one. Jesus, this is rusty. I don't like that. I know I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, but I'm going to take this center console off right now. I cannot take how rusty that looks. I want to take it off and see what's underneath. It's been driving me absolutely nuts. Oh my God. What is that? What is this? It looks like some homemade welded God knows what and I'm not saying just to make this all clear This was Justin the last owner who did this all he did was slam and put wheels and paint it He did the good stuff, but what the hell is that this was the first owner that for sure did this What? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's insanely short it's some type of custom short throw shifter i would say wow all right well um cool 
by putting a spoon shift knob on it does, does it make it better like is it is it okay now you know what i can actually find the gears easier now compared to like the longer shift knob okay so today is a day of exploring we're not fully going to get into the car like i said now we know i need to purchase a short throw shifter that is fine nothing wrong with that that piece of metal actually looks super thick it looks like it would never break it looks like a weapon like i can like someone's trying to break into my car bah! take it off and you know smack him the head but cool we got some stuff to do i knew that in the beginning but it has a spoon shift knob on it now so it's good there it is the first real episode of the ek and getting into it as we can see re justin did a fantastic job with the exterior the suspension the wheels you did an absolutely awesome job i don't know if i mentioned earlier there's a disc conversion in the back which is fantastic for me um but we got work to do and as you saw we did our first official mod i think we started off pretty good with a spoon sport shift knob i have more stuff in there uh i think we should take apart the interior completely and really get a deep down look maybe the next episode or the episode after that so there it is boys if you are excited for the ek and all its glory i promise you I am going to build this insanely well. My goal is to restore it completely and make it look absolutely amazing. I want it to look brand new pretty much. That is my goal with this car. I told myself that this is going to be the best build I've ever done. I had the luck of getting this for $100, so I am going to make this the absolute best build. That is my goal and uh, I hope you guys stick around. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. YouTube's been tough lately, and I can use all your support. And if you want, grab some merch at streetlegacy.ca. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Peace out. Do it once. Do it right. Like, comment, subscribe, and later. Uh-oh. The EK's leaking oil. Tastes like 5W30 Moltool.